Right guys, so this is the Mains Boost Flowmate from Stuart Turner and I'm going to run through the job with you, basically the component parts, how it works and what this does and what the pump does. So before we started the job, we've checked and recorded our static pressure, 1.7 bar, our dynamic pressure, 1.6 bar and our flow rate of around 9 to 10 litres per minute. We're going to be using this test kit from Stuart Turner. So we've got a flow meter here that's going to measure the flow. And then we've got a pressure gauge there. So when we've attached that, we'll be able to check the standing pressure and the dynamic pressure. And you get different kind of adapters to connect it onto different pipes. But we're going to use that to screw it directly onto the outside tap. This is our standard outdoor bib tap. We've just removed the hose lock fitting off the end and our flow meter has gone straight onto it there. So with no other taps open, we're going to test our static pressure. So we've got 1.7 bar static pressure. Now we're going to open another tap inside the property and that will give us our dynamic pressure. So that's dropped to about 1.6 dynamic pressure. So now with no other taps open, we'll check the flow rate. So you can see on the flow meter, the bottom white line is 10 litres per minute. And we're just sat just below that, so we've got about 9 litres per minute there. So the system I've installed here is the mains boost flow mate and we've got a 60 litre vessel and the pump. Now you can buy just the pump and then you can buy vessels in varying size which I'll go through in a minute. But we'll start off and we'll talk about if you wanted to fit just a pump onto a system. So the pumps by law of the water regulations are set to a maximum of 12 litres per minute. So what that means is on on the job i'm doing here we've got nine liters per minute coming in and this pump will deliver a maximum of 12 liters per minute but what it won't do is bump us up from the nine i've got coming into 12. you can't pump any more than you've got you can't pull extra water out of your main what you've got is what you've got what this will do is it will increase your pressure and this pump will add 1.5 bar pressure so the pressure I've got at the minute, 1.7 bar, connected to just this pump will give us 3.2 bar. 1.5 added to our already 1.7 existing. But it won't increase our flow rate. That's not what this pump does. Now the way it increases the bar pressure, we've got the water coming in. Our cold mains comes in at the back there. Into the pump where it's spun round really fast. But it's forced through a smaller hole and as it's forced through the smaller hole that's how it increases the bar pressure and it comes out 1.5 bar maximum more than what you've got i'm going to explain that to you in the simplest way i can with a hose pipe so here's our hose pipe running at nine liters per minute full bore through the end of that hose pipe now if i put my thumb over the end and decrease the size of the hole it comes through we can see there we're getting a lot more pressure and that's the principle of how the pump works we're not getting any increased flow we're still getting the nine liters per minute but because i've got my thumb over the end we've increased the pressure if i remove my thumb nothing's changed apart from the size of the the hole that the water's coming through but we're getting nine liters per minute at an increased pressure So if you imagine, the main difference for your customer, if you're in the shower and that's hitting you on the back, you're going to feel it, but you're going to feel this a lot more. 
and that's why these systems are good. So hopefully you've understood that. This has got a built-in bypass, so if at any point you've got more than 12 litres per minute coming through your main, it will bypass the pump, go through the bypass, and you'll get more than 12 litres per minute. But that is what this pump and all pumps will do. They can't give you any more flow rate. They can give you increased pressure, though. If you want to increase your flow rate, you've got to introduce storage like this vessel. Now, this is the smallest vessel they do, the 60 litre, and this one's designed to fit inside, like you can see here, a standard 500 mil base unit. So the way this works, we've got a balloon inside and the cold water comes in from the bottom and it fills this balloon. So when you're not using any other taps, the balloon is charging and the pump on this unit will help it recharge faster. So you're getting water pumped in to fill that balloon up. Once this is filled up, this can give you a maximum pressure of 3.2 bar and a maximum flow rate of 16 litres per minute. But what you need to be careful of is, 16 litres is the max, so that's going on saying you've got 12, and this can give you four extra litres per minute. So 12 plus four is 16. But if you've only got nine or 10, because that can't bump you up to 12 from nine or 10, you're adding four litres per minute onto your nine or 10. So if we've got nine, 13 litres per minute is our maximum. We've got 10 it's 14 up to a maximum of 16 12 plus 4 so once this is charged and we open a tap we're going to get an increase of up to 3.2 bar and 4 liters per minute extra on what we had coming in for a maximum of eight minutes until this is depleted once this is depleted we revert back to our whatever we've got coming through the mains or our 12 liters per minute with the increased pressure of 1.5 bar from the pump. Once we stop drawing the water and shut the tap, the pump carries on and pumps water back in to recharge this as fast as possible. And then you go again with another eight minutes. If you want more flow rate for increased amount of time, you have to go bigger with your storage. So the next size up from this is an 80 liter. You have to cut a hole in the bottom of your unit and then this will sit on the floor, giving you the extra height that will give you 12 minutes of increased flow. And they go all the way up to 300 liters, which would fit in a cupboard where you would have sort of a large double fridge freezer. And that 300 liter vessel would give you your 16 liters per minute for 40 minutes. So the longer flow rates, you need to increase the size of the storage. Now this system is suitable for use on a combi boiler. They're not big enough to use on an unvented cylinder. If you're gonna go for unvented, you want a mains boost system, which is a really big version of this with bigger bore pipe feeding it to give you sometimes flow rates of up to 80 liters per minute. But this system here is suitable for a combi. So before we do the performance check on this, we'll run through the component parts. So we've got an isolation valve here, so we can turn the water off. And that's running through a line strainer. So any debris that comes in from the mains into the system is collected in this gauze filter in there, which can be cleaned out. And that protects our pump and our vessel. Then importantly, we go through a double check valve. Now we need this on here for water regulations to prevent backflow. If you imagine our 1.7 bar of pressure coming this way, and we've got 3.2 bar here. If we didn't have this double check valve, non-return valve, this 3.2 bar would push back through there into our main, which is cause, can cause contamination. It's against regula water regulations. So we've got the double check valve there to stop any increased pressure in there coming back this way. We've then got a pressure reducing valve, PRV. That reduces this, the pressure to a safe pressure Component parts like this pump and this vessel are designed to work at set pressures. So it's basically protecting these bits of equipment. And we've got a pressure gauge there so we can see the static and the dynamic pressure as we use it. We then come up and round. And this is our bypass. So if you can see here, we've got the inlet to the flow mate open and the outlet from the flow mate open. But the bypass is shut. If for whatever reason we wanted to work on this, do any maintenance on it, we can shut these two and that's now isolated the flow mate and open this one 
so that the property still got access to cold water supply but that will be the original 1.7 bar 9 litres per minute flow rate once we've finished working on the system we can shut that and open this one back up so now this is all piped up filled up and ready to go we'll check the performance of it using the flow meter and pressure gauge so now with the flow mate system installed, we'll test the performance. So no other taps open in the property. And we've got a static pressure now of 4.2 bar. So we've jumped up from 1.7 to 4.2, which is a 2.5 bar pressure increase on the static. Now we're going to open a tap to check the dynamic. It's only dropped to just over four bar dynamic pressure. Now we'll check the flow rate. So we're 14, 15 litres per minute. So that's an increase from nine, 10 litres per minute up to 14, 15. So four litres per minute, five litres per minute, if you're being generous, which from this system is what you'd expect. So we've got a more than expected increase in pressure, static and dynamic, and about what we expected, maybe slightly better flow rate. Now to finish off, the question that everyone wanted to know, is that pump noisy? So we're gonna run it with the cupboard open and then we'll run it with the cupboard door shut. So that's the sound of the pump with the tap going. Door shut. Shut the tap. You can hear there that's recharging the vessel because we've shut the tap. And that sound with the door shut. Once the vessel's recharged, the pump stops. Two, one.